Hello and welcome to my channel, the so-called travel expert. We are at Garmisch Partenkirchen, one of the well-known ski resorts of Germany. And it is the 20th February 2023. So it is the peak skiing season. But surprise, surprise, the temperature is 12 degrees today. So it's unbelievably warm. So we were here last year as well. And in case you missed out that video, have a look uh, in the description for the link. And we enjoyed it so much that we decided to come back this year. But it's been quite a poor winter with very warm and mild temperatures uh, this year in Europe. So it was also, uh, we, so we were also not certain, you know, how good the skiing experience will be. So join us in this video and find out. Here's a map showing the overview of the ski resort. And our journey begins at the base of the Hausberg Bahn, which is a short five minute drive from the center of Garmisch. So behind me, you can see the ski rental, ski shul, uh, ski falai kappa. That means the ski rental of Garmisch Partenkirchen. And they also have a ski school here. So the good thing about uh, this place is that you can just rent your ski, uh, you know, the skis and the poles, etc. And you can just store them overnight over there as well. The staff are quite friendly and also speak English to those who are not fluent in German. There is no requirement of booking the ski equipment in advance. If you want to beat the crowds and avoid long waiting times, be sure to get here at 8 in the morning. This is also the meeting point for the ski school participants. So as you can see, it does get quite busy from 8.30 onwards. The ski school offers two slots, either in the morning or in the afternoon, and the courses are offered in German as well as in English. The cable car to take you up to the ski resort is located right next to the ski rental. And here are some glimpses of the short 10-minute cable car ride from the car park to the Hausberg ski area. So we have just got off the lift, you can see that behind me. And now we have come to the uh, actual ski area. So this, this part is called the Hausberg Resort. And just have a look uh, at the view. So there is the <coughs> lift which has brought us up to this uh, Hausberg ski area. And we have just skied onwards a short distance and you come towards the so-called children's ski area or the Kinderland which is right in front of us and you also see these uh, artificial snow blowers which is really required because it's uh, 12 degrees today and it's an all-night operation to cover the piste with fresh snow this map gives you an overview of the Kinderland ski area for beginners it consists of a nursery slope for first-timers and two gentle blue slopes with T-bars. There is actually an escalator which gets you to the top of the nursery slope. And once you have mastered the nursery slope, it's time to move on to the T-bars. Two days of ski school participation is sufficient for children to get to this level. And once you are comfortable with the Kinderland slopes, it is then time to go up higher on the mountain with an open air chairlift. The Kreuzwankel chairlift is the start point for accessing many slopes higher up the mountain, so it does tend to get quite busy. You can see that the kids were really excited to be sitting on the open air chairlift. Enjoy! <laughs> Here's a glimpse of the views that you get from this chairlift.
The training now focused on getting safely down these slightly steeper blue slopes. And we took this opportunity to go further higher up the mountain. But that also meant going down a red slope which was slightly steeper than I had anticipated. So we are planning to go higher up now on the mountain. But to get to that lift, it meant we had to come down using a steep slope which is red. That's one of the advanced intermediate slopes you can see behind me. And it was extremely steep, at least for me, for my level. But we managed to make it through. Have a look. The black slopes are meant for expert level skiers. And this particular one, the Kandahar, is also famous for hosting downhill skiing competitions. And here is a glimpse of the views after getting off the lift. As it was nearly 12 o'clock, it was time to head back down towards Kinderland and pick the kids up from ski school. It's almost 12 o'clock now and the training for the kids is done. So we'll just head down this uh, slope with uh, some humps just to make it enjoyable and then uh, go and catch uh, or have some lunch uh, in that pub you can see uh, behind me over there hopefully. By this point, it was almost 12 degrees and at these low levels, the snow became slushy. If you want to avoid the crowds, it is best to avoid the prime slot between 12 and 1. There's quite a wide range of options on offer and I must say, they were quite reasonably priced. So we've just finished having our lunch and heading off to the afternoon session uh, of practicing uh, with the kids as well. So it's quite a busy day today, especially the weather is nice and also given the school holidays. So we're spending a lot of time just uh, waiting on queues. It is 3.30 now and uh, you can see the slopes are uh, not as busy anymore compared to what it was just after lunchtime and that's because all the ski schools have finished their afternoon training sessions and now is actually the best time to practice on these uh, baby slopes uh, or, or let's say the big <laughs> the, the toughest of the ba baby slopes so now we will spend the next 45 minutes or an hour trying to master the technique of uh, parallel turning keeping the skis parallel so let's see how it goes So it is uh, quarter past four and uh, that's it. The lifts have uh, shut down for today. That means we have to head back uh, down to base. So it's been a fantastic day today. So just as a review for the day, we started at around uh, nine o'clock. We actually got to the ski rental pretty early uh, just to avoid the queues. So we got to the ski rental at around quarter past eight, picked up our stuff and uh, the ski school uh, for the kids starts at 9. So we dropped off the kids uh, to the ski school and then uh, head further up uh, to the Hausberg, uh, so up to a height of 1700 or 1800 meters. And the snow quality there was really good. And once the uh, 
Ski school finished at around 12 o'clock. Uh, we then picked up the kids, had a quick lunch. And after that, we spent the afternoon uh, just practicing uh, or helping the kids practice. So we will uh, repeat this tomorrow and the weather forecast for tomorrow is uh, going to be uh, is just as good as today as well. So looking forward to that tomorrow. <laughs> and here is a rather disappointing view of the ski slope covered with artificial snow and everything else besides it bone dry. The effects of climate change very evident to see. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.